Certificate for primary education exams gets underway across the country. Inspector General David Kimayu extends the Lamu curfew for a third time. And the residents of Zimmerman protests after a church construction project has unleashed a flood of raw sewer crawling into their houses. A very warm welcome to GBS Morning News. My name is Florence Ndongo. Kenya's certificate of secondary examination has begun, that began with a chemistry practical paper on Friday, kicked off nationally yesterday. Over 485,000 candidates will be sitting for their exams until November, with 31 subjects being uh, examined and a total of 74 examinations being administered. The greatest hit has been recorded in Turkana County, where bandits are said to have attacked the vehicle transporting the examination papers before burning the papers that were being ferried to uh, Beiko Akipendo Secondary School, the incident left 25 candidates affected. Thank you so much, Henry, for that report, and good luck to all the KCP candidates. And now moving on, the Inspector General of Police has extended the Lamu curfew for one month. The curfew was imposed on the county following Peketoni attacks that left over 60 people dead. While issuing the new curfew orders, Kimayo said the decision was informed by intelligence reports and a plea by the local residents. Governors from Nairobi, Machakos, Kajiado and Kiambu counties have signed a Memorandum of Understanding on the Nairobi Metropolitan Service Improvement Project, which aims at improving key services including sewerage and wastewater treatment, urban roads and drainage, public space markets and other infrastructure. The project will help Nairobi meet its enormous need for infrastructure and other services. The signing of the MOU is geared to ensure that the city remains a livable and and a business friendly hub. And residents of Zimmerman Estate took, took to the streets of a poor drainage system which has caused flooding of wastewater into their residential houses and also business premises. The residents say they have been living in that murky situation for three days without remedial action from the county council. They, however, blame the pro problem on a construction project undertaken by a neighboring church. Let's take a look at that report. Indeed, that's a costly neighbor. Now moving on, President Huru Kenyatta has asked Kenyans to be vigilant and know how the attacks uh, their taxes are spent to curb wastage of resources. The president who was presiding over the tax day said that his government was keen on ensuring that public resources are properly utilized, sending a stern warning to public officials who are known to squander public resources. Deputy President William Ruto also encouraged Kenyans to have a culture of saving in order to increase their national gross domestic products. One month's luck was another month's agony. This is after a banker took home 300,000 Kenya shillings after winning the Kenya charity sweepstake instant ticket, while the other lost 20,000 Kenya shillings to a con artist on a fake ticket. All right. And our vital supplies and resources to curb the Ebola crisis are beginning to arrive in the three uh, of the worst East West African countries. The supplies are a major boost of winning the fight against the uh, hemographic, hemorrhagic fever rather, that has left over 4,000 people dead, majority uh, from the West African nations. So far, Nigeria and Senegal have been declared Ebola-free after completing a 42-day period with no new cases detected. Glad you're still with us on this GBS Morning News. Stay tuned as we take a look at the world of sports.
and welcome to GBS Sports News. And now to matters of speed. After Carl Vlashtundo cut Baldev Chaga's Kenya National Rally Championship Series led to 40 points, the title is now a two-horse race uh, when, uh, when dark uh, horse speed merchant Jasper Chata retired from the Nakisumu Rally. This is after his car experienced several mechanical problems, but rocky driver Rajbir Rai won the circuit in the Lake Victoria region. Eight times Guru Nanak rally winner Ian Duncan remains a spoiler ahead of the championship party. Let's take a look at Ambaka Collins' report. Thank you so much, Ambaka Collins, for that report. And last night, there were eight matches on the card in the UEFA Champions League matches and actually there were major wins last evening but just to sample a couple of the results CSK uh, Air Moscow uh, shared a 2-2 draw with Manchester City while former immediate champions Bayern Munich had one of those big wins that is 7-1 win against uh, Italian side that is Roma Paris Saint-Germain won narrowly 1-0 against Apoel NIC there was also another big win from an English Premier League side that is Chelsea who won 6 nil against NK Maribo. Barcelona won 3-1 against Ajax. Uh, Schalke had a 4-3 win over Sporting. Bate Borisov received a beating from Shakhtar Donetsk that is 7 nil, and also FC Porto winning 1 nil against Atletico. Bilbao. And also tonight, live on GBS TV, we air one Champions League match that is Liverpool will be taking on Madrid in a UEFA Champions League match that will be beamed live right here on GBS TV. Tomorrow is the UEFA Europa League and Lille will be taking on Everton on Saturday. Bayer Leverkusen will play FC Schalke in a Bundesliga match that will be aired Saturday right here on GBS TV. That's how we end uh, GBS Morning News and keep it right here because it's bound to be a sporty night tonight as we air live. You have a Champions League match that is Liverpool versus Real Madrid. You can't afford to miss that one. My name is Florence Ndongo. See you again tomorrow.